what's going on guys daily fishing here so i'm down at flat rock in newfoundland so i was talking to a couple guys um at canadian tire and they were telling me hey look if you want to do some shore fishing this is where you go flat rock so right here just walking down the trail this is flat rock newfoundland so i went out uh jigging the other day for cod that was amazing i just want to give a huge shout out to colleen she ended up uh, finding me this rod right here. It's pretty big. Um, it was her dad's. Um, it's actually on a pen, 105 CS, and it's actually a pretty heavy duty rod. Don't know what type the rod is. Uh, master, never heard of that one, but we're good to go. We are on the trail now. We are gonna go fishing, and I will let you know how that goes. <sighs> Well, just in case, put my stuff up here. So before we get started on what we're gonna be using, every single time you come down to Newfoundland and you wanna pack a lunch, just grab one of these. It's a pizza burger. Oh baby, it's good stuff. So, seen this at the corner store and i never seen one of these anymore before it's uh dr pepper and cream soda let's give it a try right let's 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 do that first all right here we go wow the flavors match up perfectly didn't think they would that's random all right let's see what we got going on down here so Never fished here before. Picked up some hooks. Picked up some of those things. Picked up a spoon. These daredevil wolf whatever things. Uh, they were only like three bucks each, so I said, screw it, I'll pick them up. Got some heads, jig heads for those babies. Now I got some 30 pound line, just in case. Um, I got these weird squid things. No clue if they're gonna work or not. Um, then I got some weights. So you need the weights to get your spoons down or anything like that, cause the water here is pretty deep. So I don't know, I, I thought I would give this a go and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So I'm probably gonna start with a spoon first uh, cause I was talking to some old guy at Canadian Tire who said, um, try these spoons out. They work in Ontario for pike and stuff like that, so why not give them a try? I didn't realize the hook was so small, or I would have uh, upgraded those. I guess I could switch it to uh, the Trogar ones, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens, so yeah, let's get started. Oh, so I got this big rod, so I'm going to unfold it, right? So it's just uh, attached with uh, some electrical tape. So I'll just take that off. Got the rod together. I think I'm gonna try the spoon first. I got two just in case if I would lose one. I don't know if I'm gonna lose one or not. Like there's scalpins and a bunch of weird looking fish that live here. So that ah, big teeth. I was thinking about getting leaders, but I didn't want to miss any bites. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So what I'm gonna do now, is see how you got the spoon? Now I'm gonna add a bunch of weight on it, cause it's not like we're in Ontario, like the shore could drop 
100 feet right here, 200 feet, I don't know. I have Navionics, but you know with Navionics, even in Ontario, um, unless you're in the middle of the lake, it's pretty good. But if along shorelines, it'll just show that there's a drop. It doesn't show like how badly it drops, right? Because most boats won't go, go in, unless you have a zero lines card. If you have a zero lines card, then you can map this all properly, but. I don't know exactly what the depth is here, so I'm just gonna wing it, put a bunch of sinkers on it, throw it out, and hopefully I'll pull on some big ones. So we'll see what happens. I only have 30 pound line here, so we'll see. Should be fun. These lead shots. Doesn't say how much they weigh, but whatever, they're pretty big. So I'm gonna try this first. All right. Let's see what happens. So I'm probably gonna put the GoPro up here and wear the chest mount because the tidal waves that are coming in are pretty, pretty strong. Like, look at that right there. Holy crap. Wow. Look at that. You would not want to be up there. Wow. All right, so I'm going to stand on top of this rock. We'll see what happens when I get a fish. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll just, guess we'll wait and see. Ah! This is fucking insane. Look at that freaking wave, oh, wow. So this first spot seems to be a bust. There's a lot more rock to try, so what I'm going to do now is go to the next spot. Oops, it ain't easy. Hi, is a boy, is a sailor, the boat. Hi, is a boy, is a sailor. Hi, is a boy, is a catches a fish and brings a home to laser. Hip the partner out of control. Hip the partner can the bird. Maybe I'll throw a couple casts here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh well, that was good while it lasted.
So what I did is I took one of these Gibbs Cod Buster Tails. Okay, that sounds like it's pretty good. And I'm gonna take one of these bad boys. What I'm gonna do, feed it in. Like so, and push it up on the neck. Like that. See the cob buster tail now? So I'm gonna take off this spoon now and try this thing out. Sweet, so that's gonna be my setup. I'll still run the extra weight, right? But let's see how it goes. So I got the cod buster on with some extra weight. We'll see what we can do. Oh yeah, this cast further. So I'll let it sink. I actually let out some more line. So what I'll do now is I'll dig it back. I almost felt like I got a fish there. wave dude holy hannah that's insane cod buster away cod buster So what I'm doing right now is I'm letting out extra line. I think it's all the way to the bottom. And then I'm just digging it back. Holy crap, I felt something there. No. Oh, there we go. I got it out. What the heck? It bent the leader, though. Wow. Hopefully that thing doesn't break. We'll see. Rocket ship all the way out there. And what we're gonna do is let out extra line again. All right, so what I'm gonna do now Let's just dig it on the way back in. So what I'm gonna do now is go to a different spot. So I just finished my second place. I did probably maybe 15 minutes here. This is rock, look at this. 
right there. Thought it felt a couple bites, but you know, I don't think it was a fish, so time to move on. So right now I'm at my third spot, third spot, so I'm gonna give this a go. I'm just gonna keep moving down Flat Rock until I find something that's good, so yeah. Wish me luck and subscribe, like, and comment. insane Whoa! Got a fish on! Woo! I think it's a, it's a cod, cod. Oh! Yes!
Oh, the hook. Yeah, that's bigger though. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. But I most people have Got a card. Another one. <laughs> now it's fun fishing. Uh -huh. Got another one. Lots of fish, eh? We just gotta get the big ones. Yeah. I want a, a flounder. You want a flounder? flounder do you or a rockfish. You see a rockfish before? No. Flounder is better to go. Well, this is better than before, but, but since I have enough, but... at least it's fine. If I catch a big one, I'll, I'll, I'll take it and go home. <laughs> I can feel, oh, I missed it. As soon as I hit the bottom, boom.
pottery. I'm on top of the world. So today we're in Newfoundland and Labrador. So right now we're we're pretty much at the very tip of this thing. Got to make sure you're very careful. Make sure you're very careful. There's like holes in the ground everywhere and yeah, you just got to be super careful coming out here if you're going to come out here. This is a uh, flat rock. So yeah, let's go over bait choices. So I don't know if you've seen what I was using before, but you definitely do not want to be using what I was using before. So I talked to a couple old guys. You want to be using these jigging. It's pretty much a big chunk of lead. And on the bottom, you can have like a trailer or whatever. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all you use when you're doing this stuff. It was colored up before one of the guys gave it to me. So yeah. That's what you're doing when you're coming here. Had an amazing time. I wish I could stay longer, but Colleen's waiting for me in the car, so I got to keep going. All right, take it easy, guys.